proving to be too much for some rivers to handle. Now, as we mentioned, evacuations were ordered along the Blanco and San Marcos rivers. Eyewitness News reporter John Finolio is live in San Marcos, where people are heading to dry ground now. John? Good evening, Gina. The Blanco River is receding right now. However, just a few hours ago, the water was washing over the State Highway 80 bridge right here. This entire area remains under a flash flood warning until 7.15 p.m. And, of course, earlier today, this fast-moving body of water caused severe flooding in neighborhoods along its banks. Many people caught off guard as the water rose swiftly. In only a matter of hours, residents here and throughout much of South Central Texas watched as widespread flooding shut down roads and washed over neighborhoods a life-threatening scene reminiscent of the rains that pummeled this area back in May. The National Weather Service calling today's flooding historic. By 2 p.m., the Blanco River crested at just over 42 feet. Interstate 35 was closed in both directions for several hours due to high water. Not long after the water rose over the Highway 80 bridge here in San Marcos, nearby residents were sent running for higher ground. One mother we spoke with says that she stepped out to pick up her two youngest children from school. By the time she returned, the street was flooded her two other children trapped inside her own home the water just came out of nowhere and uh, swept them down a little bit and he had to save her and get them back to the house and to uh, rescue the rescue crew can come so thank you jesus so yeah i'm a lot happier now <laughs> he had to save his sister Now, some residents here in San Marcos along uh, the, the Blanco River are returning to homes with soaked floors. How long they'll be able to stay remains to be seen. More rain is expected tonight. Reporting live in San Marcos, John Finolio, 13 Eyewitness News. Thank you, John.